Hello and welcome to another Primavera P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this session, we want to talk about how you can create a look at plan for labor unit resources by using activity usage profile. You can go to the activity usage profile by the icon over here. It is activity usage profile icon or you can use the view menu and select show on the top or show on the bottom and go to the activity usage profile over here then when you select the activity usage profile you can adjust it how you can change it to the labor unit or non-labor unit if you need any further information about how to use activity usage profile please look at the lesson 106 the link is above the first step for look at creation is you need to look at your time scale. My time scale now is the month year. It is not suitable for look at plan. Most of the time we create a look at plan for different time scale. For instance, the month week is a good one. So I apply it and change it to the month week. Then everything over here going to be changed and as you see I have the different curve and different situation on the month and week over here now you need to specify the time which you are selected for these activities now I click on the time period then I, I am able to select the time period over here then if your baseline or your estimate is located on these four weeks, then activity is going to be listed in the above. Now I create a list and this list of tasks are sorted based on these items. As you see, I don't have any things for this part of scheduled so it is better to go to the group and sort and use the hide if empty then this is only sorted based on your available information which is related to these four weeks now we adjust the activity we select the proper timing now i want to know that which of this activity related to the machinery discipline so i go to the group and sort remove the wbs from this section now i add the discipline and phase and apply it then, as you see, the phase and discipline based on my activity code comes up over here. But I only want to focus on one part of this information. I want to looking only on mechanical information. So I go to the filter and change it to the discipline is under mechanical. Then. I apply it now I have a look at plan for the mechanical but if you want to know that where this task is going to be a start when this task is going to be finished then it is better to go to the bar chart option and from bar chart option go to the site lines and add some major line for every month and add some minor line by every week then you can easily scroll and find out what is the estimated start and estimate finish but maybe it is good idea if you want to print it out so i go to the file by print preview as you see it is not good item over here to print it out like this so i go to the option from the option menu i need to type it data date 
minus one week to the data date plus three week maybe four week is better choice then if i apply it then you can find out my time scale is completely set up set up as my lookup plan if you want to know that what's this curve actually in a, in this lookup plan then you need to select the profile and apply it then you have the profile over here here is the profile here is the s curve for cumulative for the baseline and for each week estimation s curve based on the baseline and what is the actual s curve also we can add the remaining early and remaining late now we have these two items in a cumulative but you can add it for the time interval for each week then you need to print it for instance by pdf and other hard copies maybe then here is your look at plan thank you for watching global project control i hope this lesson is useful for you please keep in touch with my linkedin youtube instagram and facebook for further lesson also you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time thank you for your subscription at my youtube channel